tragedy that hit closer to home. A Lexington teenager was shot and killed Thanksgiving night. ABC 36's Melanie Kendall joins us live now in the studio with more on how he's being remembered in tonight's top story at 6. Leestown Middle School started with a moment of silence to remember Angel Juarez. Grief counselors were there to help teachers and students cope on this first day back since the shooting. Now, the district tells us Juarez transferred schools about a month ago, but everyone at Leestown Middle School still considers him part of the school family. I, I can't even put it into words what this feels like. Heartbreak and sadness at Leestown Middle School. You know, we're, we're kind of a little family and we lost a member of our family. Lexington police say 14-year-old Angel Juarez was shot and killed Thanksgiving night after answering the door at his home. Investigators say the shooting happened because of a fight between 23-year-old Kevin Garcia and Juarez's older brother. Garcia was arrested in West Virginia and accused of the shooting. It's hard to process that someone so young um, lost her life in a tragedy such as that. Now the school is still trying to understand why this happened. We started out with lots of tears, um, mm -hmm. but then we ended up with some funny stories. They say Juarez had a big heart and a bigger personality. Crack jokes, but he was appropriate about it. He, mm -hmm. he didn't take it to the class clown level, but um, just a, a funny, witty, witty guy. He added a lot to each classroom that he was in. Students spent the day making this banner as a way to grieve and as a way to remember their friend who was taken too soon. He had so much potential. I mean, he had the world at his fingertips. He was smart. He was athletic. He was cute. He was bilingual. I mean, he, he could have done anything. He had it taken away from him. A GoFundMe page was set up to help pay for the funeral, and Embrace United Church here in Lexington is also collecting money for the family. We've learned there's a candlelight vigil being organized next Sunday at Thompson Park. We have details on our website, WTVQ.com. Reporting live in the studio, Melanie Kendall, ABC 36 News.